Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Ben Amsen. Today we will solve an interesting problem uh, that came up in coding interview. Uh, this problem titled longest even odd subarray with threshold. So as always, I will walk through uh, the problem and this time we will try to implement it in Python. So this problem has been asked in coding interview and can be categorized as an array problem. So the problem gives us an integer array nums and an integer threshold. And our task is to find the length of the longest subarray of nums that satisfy the following condition. Uh, the first element in the subarray is even. Each pair of consecutive elements in the subarray has a different uh, priority, meaning if one number is odd, the next one should be even and vice versa. All elements in the subarray are less than or equal to the given threshold. So sound interesting and all right. So let's dive into the uh, task and implementation. So first let's um, yeah, uh, try to implement it and I will explain everything right away. So longest will be zero and current will be zero help her and for I in range uh, from len uh, nums if num greater than threshold uh, current zero, else if current equal zero and num i modulo two is zero, current equals one, else current greater than zero and num modulo two not num i minus one modulo two current will be plus one and else finally uh, current is one and if num modulo two zero else zero so longest will be max between longest and current element and we return longest. Okay, so this is our implementation. Uh, let's run it for uh, this uh, simple test cases. Hopefully it will pass. Yeah, so it's uh, correctly implemented. So what we did, so uh, after uh, defining uh, in longest alternating uh, sub array, uh, it takes two arguments. So now, which is our uh, input list and threshold and which is the maximum allowed value in our uh, subarray. So uh, we keep track of the longest valid subarray and we have seen so far with the variable longest uh, and the length of the current valid subarray with the variable uh, current. So uh, first we check if the current number is greater than the threshold. If it is, we can't include it uh, in a valid subarray, so we reset uh, current to zero. So if the current number is not above the threshold, uh, there are a few cases to consider. So first, if current is zero, we are not currently in a valid subarray and the number is even, we can start a new subarray, so we set current to one. If uh, we are currently in a valid subarray, so current greater than zero, and the current number has different uh, parity from the last one, we can extend our subarray, so we increment current. Otherwise, we can't extend the current subarray. If the number is even, we can start a new subarray, so we set current to one. And if the number is odd, we can start a new subarray as well, so we set current to uh, zero. Uh, and finally, uh, considering each number, we update our longest seen subarray if necessary. And yep, uh, that's it for our loop. And after going through all numbers, we return length of the longest valid subarray we have encountered. So, uh, and uh, there we have it a simple yet efficient solution to longest even odd subarray with threshold uh, problem. We can run it for uh, unsynthesized cases. So unsynthesized cases were quite tricky, 
So yeah, uh, first time when I was uh, implementing it, I uh, yeah have wrong answers, so I didn't consider uh, this uh, last uh, test case. And yeah, our implementation beat 82% with respect to runtime and 56 with respect to memory. Uh, so yeah, and there you have it, a simple yet efficient solution uh, to the problem. And this algorithm runs in O n uh, time uh, complexity, so linear, and uh, as it's process each number in the array exactly once, where n is the length of the array. And remember uh, that practicing problem like this one is a great way to improve your coding and problem solving skills. So keep practicing and never stop learning. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. And your support helps me to continue creating quality coding content. And also feel free to leave any question or feedback in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.